this house um, was built around 1855 by Edwin Martin, who purchased the property here from Thomas Garner, Thomas H. Garner, who built the house, by the way, and lived right across the road here. Many people remember where he lived is the Bunky Fight House. Uh, and Mr. Martin was a, a, a businessman in Winchester. He was a silversmith. And this was in 1853 that he purchased this property. And we feel that he is the one who built this house that was here. And we have published a book uh, by the Winchester Historic Preservation Committee on all of these old homes in Winchester. It's available at City Hall. And uh, this was one that's in our book. Now, after uh, Mr. Martin had kept the house for a while, he sold it in 1859 to a quite famous person here in Franklin County history. His name was Taswell Waller Newman, and he uh, and his wife, Nancy Buchanan, owned it for quite a while. Now, he was Colonel of the 17th Tennessee Infantry, 23rd Battalion, Confederate Army during the Civil War. And he, uh, maybe as a result of his service in the war, uh, ailed when he came home uh, for quite a while, and he died here in Winchester in 1868. And so his widow kept the house for a while. And I think there may have been some debts, and uh, the heirs ended up selling it uh, in 1884 to a man named William Harvey Wilson. And his, uh, his brother-in-law was Hugh Francis. Now, Mr. Francis and Mr. Wilson were prominent in Winchester because they had a clothing store on the square uh, in the 1890s. Then uh, Mr. Uh, Wilson kept the house here until about 1905. And then he sold it to a lawyer who is uh, quite prominent in the history of lawyers here in Winchester. His name was George E. Banks, Sr. Uh, and his second wife, after they married in 1909, lived here in this house. Her name was Eula Ostell. And they named the place Maple Hill. And during the years they lived here, they had uh, an article in the paper about a lawn party that they held here on the lawn of this house for 75 people. And it was quite an interesting event. Now, Mr. Um, Banks was quite noted in history because he shot and fatally killed the newspaper man, Sherman B. Robinson, on the streets of Winchester in front of Mr. Banks' law office because they disagreed politically. Their viewpoints were totally opposite. And so, um, Mr. Banks shot and killed him. Then, um, in 1922, Mr. and Mrs. Banks sold the property to John Harvey Stroud and his wife, Helen Martin, who had come here from Georgia. And they kept it until 1933, and Mr. Stroud died at that time. And they divided the property into a, like a, a division here with lots. And this, this property right here where the house was, was lot number three. But they subdivided. It was a much larger tract at that time. And uh, they sold it to William Mary Robert, Marion Robertson and his wife, Annie Bell Bowling. And Mr. Robertson was the local manager of the Southern Bell Telephone and Telegraph Company, and his wife, Annie Bell, was the telephone company operator. And in 19, that was in 1933, the Strouds sold it to the Robertsons. And the Robertsons kept it for many years. But in 1957, uh, after Mr. Robertson had already died, Mrs. Robertson willed this property to her sons, Leland Thomas Robertson and William Alton Robertson. And Alton and his wife, Alta Condra, called Sis, and he was called Red, 
Red and Sis lived here for many years, and there are people still alive in Winchester who remember them being here. Uh, when Alton died in 1988, uh, and his brother ended up with the property, he sold it to Nathan L. Smith and his wife, Johnny Mae Harden. And um, Johnny was very anxious to renovate the house at that time. She really wanted to renovate it and live in it. Um, it was in terrible condition when they got it in 1988. And she spent a lot of money having it renovated at that time. But she got cancer and she died before she ever got to live in it, which is very sad. So um, she rented it out uh, to my daughter and her, her new husband were the first people to live in it after it had been renovated as renters. And then through the years it was rented to other people after that because Miss Johnny died and her husband Nathan Smith uh, still owned it. And the Smith family still owns this property today. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, the history of this house. And uh, the people who have lived in it and their historical significance to Winchester and our county.